Hello and welcome to my studio. My name is Benson and today my video is going to show you this vacuum cleaner. It's you and I. So this is a handheld vacuum cleaner by DBA and the model is F20 Max and I got it from Amazon for £199.99. I recently have reviewed this product here which is Prosenic. Now the difference between the two is this one is £50 cheaper and um, it doesn't have as much suction as this one on paper. Now this one here has 20,000 kPa which is the measurement of how strong the suction is and this one has 25,000 kPa so that £50 will buy you a bit more suction on paper. Now I know, I know this one will be stronger because the battery is actually a 30 volt battery or 29.6 volt. Now the higher voltage the battery the more um, power it can deliver to the motor so that's why this is a stronger. Now this is all very good on paper so um, that's why I do this video so you can see what your money can buy. All the video in my channel is about showing you what your money can buy. Now in the UK we don't have that much shops that we can go in and have a fiddle with um, the products we want to buy, especially when it comes to some of the lesser known brand products. For Dyson, you can go into John Lewis or you know some um, like Curry's. Do uh, they are the shops that you can go in and play around with it? You're lucky if you find someone to demonstrate it for you, or if they have a demo unit. So by making videos for you guys, hopefully you can see what it can do, and I can show you what they can do. If you enjoyed my video, please put a thumbs up and um, consider subscribing to my uh, channel to help me grow. Um, I do like making this video for you guys and if you do buy the products from the Amazon link, I do get a bit of uh, money like a cup of coffee or something like that. If you don't, it's okay. This is all information free for you guys. So thank you very much for watching. In a minute, I'm going to show you unboxing. Um, I think it is important to include that, even though just taking stuff out of the box, but that gives you kind of an experience of what it looks like when it arrives at your door. Now this is not a paid for video or endorsement, um, basically I bought it from Amazon. I do like shopping, I do buy a lot of stuff from Amazon, and one good thing about that is if you don't like something you can always return it. So I have no obligation to say anything good or anything bad about the product. So this is just my opinion on how this product is. You be the judge. If it is suitable for you, buy it. If you don't, it's okay. This is all why I make this video. So what do you get for £200? Let's open the box and have a look. The packaging is um, very similar to other Chinese brand of this kind of a stick vacuum or handheld vacuum. Um, £200 is still a lot of money, so I do expect quite a lot from this. This looks a lot nicer than the outside box. Cordless Stick Vacuum Cleaner from DBA. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, net weight is 2.5 kilograms. So even if you have to handheld this, it's still relatively light. It's one of the reasons why people or myself look for this kind of a handheld uh, vacuum cleaner. I yet far have to find a handheld vacuum cleaner which is as strong as my uh, plug-in uh, main Dyson. Uh, but I guess it's a bit of a trade-off. Now this one do promise um, 25,000 kPa. So it's a, uh, kind of a 5,000 stronger than this. So one of the reasons of making this video to show you guys what it is like. Uh, on paper they can say whatever they want. Now. Packaging wise, you've got styrofoam with cut out to put all your products. So, um, quite nicely packaged, I have to say. It's not just like cardboard, cardboard paper thrown into one. So, you've got attachments. So, you've got this kind of a long blade, you've got the brush heads. Um, you also got what is this? The power brake to charge your battery. Um, the filter, I don't know if this is an extra or they haven't mounted, but it would be nice if it is an extra filter. Um, one of the reasons why I like extra filter is like um, sometimes when the filter gets clogged and you need to use the machine, it's too late then because once you wash it, you have to wait for it to dry. So having an extra one will be fantastic, but we come to that. Instruction booklet, small head, 
it does have a roller inside and I'm not sure if it is motorized I think it is, it's got a power thing on that so I think it's a small motorized brush and the big main brush this is the machine itself it's quite interesting um, to see this design because a lot of um, the machine that I test before the tank is actually facing downwards now this one is facing forward you got plus and minus so the difference is to set the suction power and that must be the battery I wish the machine come with two, oops. I wish the machine come with two batteries because the whole point of having a detachable battery is that you know you kind of never run out of power because you would have one already charged up you put one in when you finish you change to the other one around this one is charging on off button here on the side here it actually tells you how how to this this mentiment because um, this is now attached to the main body you can't really open this kind of stuck so what you need to do is push this forward and it kind of relieve the cylinder at an angle and now the lid can open so we only come with one type of roller so when this get worn out I guess you need to buy another one but unlike the P8 Max they come with two rollers one is with the soft Bristol one is with kind of a uh, harder Bristol so it's for like uh, wooden floor and for um, kind of carpet I guess you just have to do with one in this but this one does come with two heads now this one is what I'm talking about so they do come with those longer Bristol but less um, less of them so they are slightly different I'm going to assemble this and I'm going to have a little test It does come with two filters. Oof, that's good. That's very good. So you have two filters, one in there. When this one gets dirty, if you happen to be not maintaining it properly, you find that you're losing suction, you can always take this one out and then put a, put a new one in while wait, um, wait for this one to be washed or dried so you don't have any downtime. So to charge the battery, really pretty simple. All you need to do is just plug in the adapter and then plug this into the battery and uh, the light will show that it is actually being charged I think you just need a couple of hours to um, fully charge yep so at the moment is on light one blinking second so it's kind of like a half half charge I guess so it has been um, one and a half hours so there is some juice in the battery to begin with so it doesn't take the full like two or three hours to charge um, just to show you this is what happened when it's fully charged you've got three blue dots there which is permanently on <clears throat> so now we can uh, unplug that and push it into the machine like so and this is ready ready to go Yep, that's pretty weak. That is a lot stronger. Now this is really good. Now that was really good. Now I wouldn't recommend doing this for a long time with a handheld kind of a vacuum cleaner because handheld vacuum cleaner is the one on the battery and you can get overheat um, if you do that. So yeah. And this one so this is motorized as well which is fantastic it's nice that it comes with two this one will be very suitable for like a small area maybe the stairs and stuff like that if you don't want to hold on to the big one so this is quite typical of my workshop so you've got like sawdust 
and a bit of like you know leaves from the garden so very fine some sometimes very fine sawdust but some of them are quite big but just drawings for some comparison I got some like um, I got some like nuts and bolts so they are the tiny stuff unless you got really strong suction or else they won't be picked up especially when the head is quite wide so the suction is kind of quite spread out so I have no doubt if you only use the kind of the tube it will have the suction to suck them out but I want to check if the motorized head will actually pick this one up as well on this side some on this side and um, when we empty the tank then we can have a look and see uh, what the two will pick up it is going to be a side by side between the DBR and the P8 Max okay so now these two like I say this one here a little bit heavier but not by much and this one is uh, 199 pound usually about 10 pound discount or something like that this is 169.99 or 159.99 even and then usually get about 10 pound discount like a voucher on amazon.co.uk so um, 50 pound more on this one does it suck better as 50 pound worth let's find out So start with start with the low setting. Now, now as my previous video I did complain about this one, is that Presonic, the brush seems to be just touching the floor. So when I press on it, you can tell that it's not doing much. I mean, it does suck the very fine dust but it's not really scrubbing the, the carpet but whereas this one, as soon as I switch it on I can feel the difference because it's pulling it forward you see that? so even at the lowest setting the DeBeer just scrubbing the floor away I think the roller do make a big big difference between um, the the two vacuum definitely this one is stronger and um, I'm going to set it to the maximum power because that's how I clean the house anyway but um, we'll see Okay, so you can see in the tank all the dust is picked up. Now both of these did really well. Um, the nuts uh, and, the, and the screw they both get picked up so they are strong enough.
But definitely, um, if you are need to choose between these two, the 50 pound more expensive do make a big difference. Like I say, the suction is uh, much better, and uh, and the light is uh, stronger. You might think it's silly to have a light on the Hoover, who, who Hoover in the dark, but actually, when you get down under the sofa or get down under the table, you do actually um, appreciate having that little light in the front. Now, at the same time, look at this. I just realized after all the hoovering, this one just came off the Presenic um, Hoover. So this thing has been sucked up but not strong enough to go all the way in the tank. Now, this doesn't mean this is rubbish. I mean, you can see by the floor. Oh, I just found another one. So yeah, um, on paper, um, the Prosenic is a um, 20,000 kPa and this one is 25. And the difference is that this one can't pick up a nut, but um, that one has no problem sucking it up and bring it all the way to the tank. So this one will probably give you better cleaning. I mean that one will give you better. I don't know if you can see it, but there are some tiny ones which trap between the fiber. And uh, when I get up close with this brush, I can see it actually brushing it out from the carpet. For example, there is a bit of like from the coil matting. Sometimes that get kind of uh, stuck into the fiber and because this is brushing it, it kind of brings it out of the fiber. Okay, so pull it forward, lift it up a little bit, push. Moving game off anyway because I twisted it. So I guess to clean it, stick out the filter and this whole assembly can come out and you can just dust it. Probably don't need to do it every time but for it not to lose suction I think um, you do have to clean it every so often. So this is the final part of my video. If you have been watching the whole video thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing to my channel to help me grow and share with your friends and anyone who like gadgets or review videos. Now my opinion about this particular product is that I love the amount of suction that it produces. Kind of like it still cannot replace your plug-in appliances. Um, the 230 volts is still very much more powerful than a handheld vacuum cleaner. But it does have its use. So for example, um, <clears throat> carrying this around with you is very very easy. There is no cord. So I'm already thinking that this will be fantastic for me to cleaning my car on the drive so I don't need to drag around a big machines to to go over to my car. The suction wise is actually not too bad especially the motorized head on this one and that is fantastic. Now the brush actually touched the floor and actually kind of um, bring in all the dirt and actually brush the dirt off the carpet and it helps it to suck in to the tank. Um, I already demonstrated that even um, like a heavy uh, nut and the nut and bolts, um, it have enough structure. Uh, it has enough suction from the heads to bring it into the tank, which a lot of the cheaper one will not do. Um, the Dyson can. I do have a Dyson. I think is a V8 or V7, V6. I can't remember now. I had it for three years, and it's still going strong. But that at that time is like 200 or 300 pound. Now this one is almost 200 pounds, so yeah, it's on par with that, but it's still a bit of saving compared to buying a Dyson. Um, something that this one can do the Dyson can't is this. I still don't understand why Dyson don't come up with a product where you can actually take the battery out and replace. Now, I already replaced the original battery from my Dyson about a, half, a year and a half ago, so the original battery lasted one and a half years. 
Um, it's not difficult, you just need to use a screwdriver and undo two screws, remove it and put it back in. But what this Chinese manufacturer done, uh, including this one, taking the battery out, is such a simple solution to <clears throat> a cordless device. A lot of the time when you're cleaning, especially if you're cleaning in a lot of places, even the powerful battery will run out. So um, having an extra battery lying around, you can always like, you know, finish one and you still have a fresh battery ready to go. That double amount of time that you can actually operate. Nothing frustrates me more than when you need to use something and they are not charged. Obviously you can leave it plugged in all the time so it's always on charge, but still if you are cleaning more than let's say 15 minutes, 20 minutes, which is about the time that this one will last if you're on the highest setting. Um, the battery eventually will run out, so it will be a good idea to have a spare battery. So I wish Dyson have something like this. Apart from that, something I don't like about this machine is the tank. Now, why can't you not have the tank facing downwards? Is it because to produce the amount of suction you need the tank to be in the front? I don't know, I'm not an engineer. But the design of this tank is such that you can't just open the lid like one button release. You have to actually have to like angle it upwards. Look, you can see me struggling here. <clears throat> so you have to kind of open the machine into an angle and then press the button so that the tank cover can open. How ridiculous is that? I don't understand. After testing this one and my Dyson, I will say this one actually is stronger than my current Dyson in terms of suction because uh, Dyson actually lied about never lose suction. The machine do lose suction over time, so I'm pretty sure this one will be stronger than my uh, handheld Dyson, which is three years old. Um, but like I say, I'm not endorsing or saying anything trying to sell you the product. All I do is show you what this look like. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I see you next time. Bye-bye.